Okay, we're here at Somnex and I'm standing next to Tim Antos from Cocoon, Kickstarter project uh, a few years back. Um, lots and lots of publicity, lots and lots of excitement. There's been some delays and maybe we can talk about them later if Tim wants to. <laughs> um, but the good news is the product is ready. Give us the elevator pitch yeah, for yeah. Cocoon. Yeah, so uh, Cocoon is all about helping people relax and fall asleep easier. Um, so within the headphones, we've got um, some cool tech. So to start with, very ergonomic and comfortable. So if you're side sleeping, uh, you can side sleep fine. They'll keep secure. Um, but inside, we've kind of got some smarts. So here we have EEG sensing. Uh, we're also looking at heart rate and heart rate variability. Um, up here, we're looking at motion and the environment as well. And what that's all about doing is actually working out what's helping to help someone fall asleep. Um, so with the app, uh, we're providing content. So um, it's a type of content called Cognitive Behaviour Therapy, which covers a whole raft of different ways of helping someone sleep. Um, it's a little bit of educating, it's a little bit of um, tools to use, so audio guided sessions. Um, but you can just use these as regular headphones, listen to your audio book, listen to your music, etc. Um, noise cancelling, Bluetooth, um, and just you know, very, very comfortable. The idea with the audio is that everyone is different. What helps one person may not help another person. So what we're really trying to do is help you discover what works for you and then give you suggestions for things that may, may work better in the future. Um, and uh, eventually we're moving to uh, dynamic audio. So this is audio that is responding in response to you. We were talking earlier that I just slightly pivoted away from a pair of headphones that would track your sleep all night. The response you got from your initial users and testers was that they really liked the idea of a tool that helped them fall asleep and relax to sleep as yeah. opposed to getting ultimate, really detailed analytics of their sleep tracking. Yeah, so um, we've still got all the analytics. It's all in there. You can track all the different sleep states. But what we really found was that when we were asking people, you know, why did you buy the product? Why um, is the product important to you? It was really that, that challenge of, you know, I wanted to relax. I wanted to block out the disturbances that were keeping me awake. And I wanted to, you know, fall asleep, essentially. Uh, in essence, all of the things that were in the original product are, are still within this, but it's, it's kind of gone quite a bit further. I've got to say, I know this is video, so it's not a tactile experience, but they, the headphones are super, super comfortable. What's the battery life? Uh, um, so 11 hours, but we're improving it all the time, just kind of code optimization. So I think the, the initial Kickstarter was 2015, so we yeah, spoke, yeah. We spoke yeah, back then. A long time ago, yeah. And uh, there's been, I know there's been a whole journey, there's been a whole narrative about yeah. getting to this point now. And um, a little bit of hoo-ha on the internet about, you know, what's happened to Cocoon, you know, yeah. where's, where's my product and all that. So can you, can you say about, you know, that, that journey and, and, and the things that happened along the way from the, yeah, the yeah. Kickstarter? And yeah, so um, it, it kind of started with the original Kickstarter. So we went pretty early on to Kickstarter. Um, the, the product that we had, you know, it worked in a nice, you know, lab environment where everything was controlled and, you know, it worked for our little test group. But, you know, when we really kind of got under the hood of it, it didn't work robustly for everyone. And, you know, it, there, were, there were some fundamental issues with the original design. So we, we had to go a little bit back to the drawing board to make sure that it was good. Because one of the things, you know, when you've got so many people backing a project, so you can't just send out, you know, a, a thing that you know is just going to not work for half the people that get it. So, um, so we really had to do um, some pretty fundamental kind of uh, tuning of, of the design. We had to do a lot of testing to find and discover the, the issues that, that, you know, intrinsically lie within any consumer product and really iron that out and iron out the mass production so that each time, you know, you get a quality product. So every product is, is checked kind of individually um, and you know we, we've taken quality very seriously. Awesome, well thanks Tim. Cool, pleasure. <laughs> Good to see you again. Cheers. Here with 
Colleen from Muna, and you're a French company, is that right? Yeah. And uh, this device here is a very smart piece of tech that's designed to work with your pillow and your, and your head temperature. Yeah. So Muna actually uses the fact that our body temperature has a big impact on our sleep quality. So in order to fall asleep, we need our body temperature to decrease. So you need to lose approximately one degree Celsius. And you need to keep a low body temperature during the night to have a good sleep quality. At the end of the night is the opposite. You need to warm up in order to wake up and be quality quickly. Um, so based on that, on that sleep research, we've developed uh, Muna. The product is in two parts and with an, an app. So it's uh, a pillow pad, so it's going to go on top of any pillow. You can keep your favorite pillow and it's based on water. So we actually uh, pump the thermoregulated water into the pillow pad. Uh, so thanks to the bedside device and the product is smart. So it's going to track your sleep to understand your sleeping pattern and also helps you uh, set up the, the right temperature profile. So it's actually based on medical research and, and uh, when we uh, started wanting to improve sleep, uh, we read a lot of medical uh, papers, we worked with doctors and we so first learned that link between temperature and sleep and also learned the, how thermoregulation works in the body which is a very complicated process but basically every part of the body, body plays a different roles and having just one temperature for the whole body won't work you need to target uh, an area so we, we're targeting the main one which is the head and, and neck uh, to have more impact so would you say with regards to people who have issues with like for instance night sweats they get hot at night yeah it's definitely helping those person in particular uh, and typically women around the menopause is going to have hot flashes or, or men that wake up during the night they're very warm they sweat a lot uh, really get a lot from the product and there's some machine learning going on in that as well i, I gather so yeah so we are actually learning uh, from uh, sleeping patterns. The temperature profile is going to change throughout the night. And uh, we're learning from each uh, type of sleepers uh, to improve uh, sleep. Can people get hold of these now? Yeah, definitely. So it's in pre-orders. So on our website, getmuna.com. Uh, and it's at 2 dollars And when we'll uh, ship uh, all the products, it will be at 3 dollars Really nice to see the the product and, and to meet you guys. Thanks, yeah. Colleen. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. So we'll start off with um, Jeff Mann, author of Sleep Junkies, who's going to give us an overview of the current lie of the land in wearable sleep, all kinds of different content, products and services. Who has very kindly agreed to say a few words about Aura? Aura. Hello, everybody. <laughs> this is Aura 1.0, which is still a really nice piece of tech. Aura is a, a ring, a tracker, but that's the old one. So, where are we now, Harry? Can I? So we have the new G2 out, uh, we had a very, very successful pre-order campaign earlier this year and we are working very, very hard to uh, get the production sorted out and, and fulfill the orders that we have. There we go, now that's really pretty. Okay, now we're talking, so... Now we're talking diamonds. There you go. Diamonds, so if you show this to someone on the street, they would say, oh, that's a nice bit of jewellery. And it is a nice bit of jewellery, but it's actually an extremely sophisticated tracker. And so, so what's inside there? What have we got inside there? So it's basically a major size computer. It's got everything in there. It's got the sensors, it's got a processor, battery, antenna. And we do a lot of the computations already inside the ring before transferring the information onto your smartphone. We measure the arterial pulse waveform from the bottom side of your finger. Uh, in addition to that, we measure your temperature and movement. We use all those variables to define the different stages of your sleep, uh, heart rate variability for your stress levels and recovery. 
Uh, body temperature, very interesting, especially in context of female health, but for all of us, it could be an indication of oncoming illness or inflammation somewhere in your body. So I think sleep probably gets all the biggest headlines, but there is a lot more to the product than just sleep. Uh, we had a 3D accelerometer in the ring, which measures your hand movement, translates that into steps and into calories. So it's an approximation of your activity level during the day. So you can see patterns, whether you have long periods of inactivity or things like that. Where this really shines is night. Recognize when you go to bed, but for sleep, all the sensors come on and we measure you throughout the night. Uh, we take 250 samples a second um, uh, in infrared from your arteries and we can get nearly ECG level uh, data regarding the rest of the heart rate, heart rate very good. Fantastic. Well, it, it's certainly very covetable piece of tech um, and this one's actually got diamonds in it as you said isn't it this is the premium yeah, it is this the is the one. premium model 1049 yeah. euro there you go there you go well I'm so pleased finally to have uh, got up with you guys I've seen so many people buzzing around your store haven't had the chance to get in touch and um, we will hopefully hear more from uh, from Aura soon yeah, thank you thanks Harry cheers, cheers.